Welcome back, guys. Today we're going to be going down the road in a 1972 Monte Carlo. This one here is, I believe, to be 350 under the hood. Let's look at this power steering, AC setup. We'll be checking all that out throughout the video. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe. I post videos all the time here on YouTube. We also have a TikTok, Instagram, and a Facebook. If you don't mind, go follow all of that. For now, we'll be checking this car out. Point out any kind of flaws so you know exactly what you're buying before you get here. We have 100 detailed pictures of every car, and we update every Monday with new cars. That's maplemotors.com. Can get you financed, and I can ship this car anywhere in the country. It's about that time. Let's go full ride. Okay, I'm gonna put my seatbelt on. We're gonna take off. I don't know if this seatbelt works or what. I don't think it does fit that one. Here we go. Multiple seatbelts in here. <laughs> this one will work. Good deal. So I'm gonna take you down the road. Any flaws I see, I will let you know. That's why I do these videos. I can hear the turn signals. But I don't see them popping up on the dash here. Afraid I'd try those out now since the traffic's getting so heavy. Here we go. Let them get a little bit further ahead. Big, slow pile of traffic right there. So as I'm pulling out, I see the speedometer's coming up. Car's going straight as an arrow. Steering's pretty tight. Nobody's behind us. Brakes. They're stopping fast. That works good. All right. Um, see if the kick down passing gear is hooked up. I don't think it is. Manually shift down. So far, so good. When I hit the brakes, it's got a slight pull to the left, but they're stopping just fine. And the gas gauge is floating around a half a tank. I believe it's working. I'm gonna pull over here to the parking lot, get some outside pictures. I'm gonna drive over the camera, light up the undercarriage, and continue this video. If you wanna know what I use to make these videos, look below in the description, and I'll give you some Amazon links. All right, let's do this.
Okay, getting ready to roll out here. Everything's been great so far. Just nice, quiet, and smooth. I'm in the church parking lot already. It's a great car to go to church on Sundays. that horn didn't work I guess that little uh, gas line hasn't affected anything. I definitely put a little bit longer hose on it. Did having that bend in it, eventually it's gonna close off that line and cause an issue where it won't be driving down the road as smooth as it does now, that's for sure. Make sure they ain't flying up on me and hit me, it'd be terrible. We made it back to the car a lot. I'm gonna grab us another ride and we're gonna head on out right after this. Go ahead and hit subscribe. Don't forget to share this video and hit like. That helps me out quite a bit. And I wanna thank you for watching the channel. If you enjoyed it, comment below and I'll get back with you. Or you can give us a call, 615-822-4444. I wanna thank you again for watching Maple Motors. I'll see you later, guys. Have a good one. Okay, getting ready to walk around this 1972 Monte Carlo. Nobody pointing out any kind of flaws, chips, scratches, issues that you would need to know about before you purchase this vehicle. You can check us out at maplemotors.com. I have detailed photos, close to 100 detailed pictures of every car on the lot. I have shipping and financing available for you. Let's get up close and personal and try to figure out what all this car has wrong with it. So we're going to start up here in the front and go down the lower portions first. Coming around the front here. You can see the front bumper has got a little dent in the corner. It's got some chrome chipping up here, peeling up around the edges. Same with this spot here. The grill itself is in great shape. Headlight bezels look good. Let's have a couple little indentions there in the front. A little bubble at the bottom of that. Okay, coming down this section. There's a bubble right here. You got a couple little spots popping up on the fender there. It looks like it'll come off. Coming on down. Got a couple paint runs in the corner here. Couple bubbles in the back. You got some dings in your trim. Coming back to mid section. Door handles have some pitting popping up on them. Top of the fender here. Little spot right there. 
front windshield looks pretty good we'll check the other side when we get over there the pillar there's a little spot in the middle of it a little flat spot on top there i kind of wiping that off it's almost like some silicone you see that it's coming off spot right in there as well cracking down here at the bottom okay let's check around this top look for any bumps there's a bump right there those bumps usually are rust they get moisture up under here and it causes rust checking around the back window the trim's kind of sticking up a little bit in the corner I usually fill around the edges because that's most of the time where they pop up where the rust and bubbles or moisture will get in and get trapped and there's a little spot right there you may not be able to see it but i pointed it out coming around to the back we'll be opening the trunk here in a moment the trunk itself has got some bubbles on it you can see them all over the trunk in the back See if the sun will hit it right. You can see them popping up as I move the camera along. Let's see. There's a bunch of them in this area. You really feel them. It's like acne. It's a chemical reaction uh, when they paint and there's like a silicone or an oil in the air. Causes that. Here in the back, definitely got some rust popping up. You can see it on both sides. Around the back here, back bumper needs to be uh, re-chromed. You can see it's all peeling up. Coming down this section. You got a bunch of bubbles popping up on the back fender. On the driver's side. Paint run here. A little discoloration going on on the fender here you can see it get a chip right in the middle of the panel check it over the top portion here there's a bubble right here got some uh, paint on your trim in the back Some bubbles popping up here, some rust up under that vinyl top. It's pretty good there. It's getting hot running my hands out here in the sun. A little crack in your pillar. A couple bubbles popping up there. The trim, it's got some scuffs on it in the front. Your mirror has a little bit of pitting popping up on it. Nice clean engine bay. Looks like the AC's all hooked up. Wait, that's not. There we go. Let's say this should be a 350 on this one and it looks all hooked up we're going to try it out and see if it works you get down here fuel filter just down low it looks a little pinched there she's running pretty good though just trying to straighten that line out i may need to get a little bit of longer hose and put it on there before we do the test drive 
it may uh, rob performance. Up under the hood here, you've got a, a lot of insulation still there. Let's check the interior out. Open the door up. On the top here, you've got a little bit of sun damage, it looks like. Carpet's in great shape. The seat looks good. It's not all tore up. Looking in the back. Package tray needs some help. Headliner in this one's wrinkled. See, it's an older headliner. It needs the uh, light cover, too. Let's jump on in here. Let's go ahead and start her up. She's really quiet. Got a crack in your dash right here. Try and see if the AC works. Blower motor is not cutting on. It was all hooked up. The blower motor is not working, and that compressor is not kicking on. So it's going to need some help for sure. A radio has been on. It's not working. Wipers, they do work. What was that? Somebody made a cap. <laughs> Somebody made a little button for that. I'll put it back on there. But it's almost better with it off. Go to place your bets. Do you think the horn works on this? We'll be trying it out here in a minute. Showing 64,000 miles. Hard to stand behind that in the year. Gas cage is up. Clock is not working. Let's try that horn. And the horn does not work. Motor's nice and quiet on this one. Coming down with the hood. The nose right there has got a chip in it. And over here, there's a little chip as well. It's a huge hood. So we're checking it out. Lining up pretty good. Exhaust is very quiet. Let's go ahead and open the trunk up here. Ah, it's one of these circle keys. I'm gonna try the original one. No? Try a new one. There we go. Trunk Excel, very clean, fairly new weather stripping. Got a little bit of rust popping up right there in that crack.
looking up in the package tray. Okay. Let's go ahead and shut this down and uh, keep this video rolling. <laughs>